Alright, this is the first example of finding coefficients using generating functions. And in this example we have determine the coefficient of x to the power of 7 in 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed all the way to infinity to the power of 15. Alright, so first of all remember that 1 over 1 minus x to the power of n is equal to negative n choose 0 plus negative n choose 1 times x to the power of 1, actually negative x to the power of 1 plus negative, two, negative n choose 2 times negative x squared, and so on and so forth. Alright, so before we find the coefficient, we have to transform this equation into a generating function. Well, we know that 1, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed, that is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So all that, that's different is that this is the power of 15. So everything to the power of 15. So this is the generating function for it. And you can rewrite this as um, 1 divided by 1 minus x to the power of 15. And we have the same term as here. So we start with doing the expansion and we get um, negative 15 choose 0 plus negative 15 choose 1 times negative x plus negative 15 choose 2 times negative x squared plus and this will go on forever so what we want is the coefficient of x to the power of 7 so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for x to the power of 7 in the equation so here you have x to the power of 0 so here you have x to the power of 0 here you have x to the power of 1 here you have x squared and somewhere somewhere along you're gonna have x to the power of 7 and you're gonna take whatever is in front of it so if we look at the pattern here the power is the same as what you're choosing so x to the power of 7 is going to be equal to negative 15 choose 7 times negative 1 to the power of 7 and this negative 1 just represents the x you usually just place a, a 1 instead of the x so this is our answer right here and you can also change this into um, negative 1 choose 7 times 15 plus 7 minus 1 choose 7 times negative 1 choose 7 and this is using the expansion we did earlier for um, negative n choose r alright so now we have second example so determine the coefficient of x to the power of 50 and x to the 7th times x to the 8th times x to the 9th and so on. So first thing you should notice is you don't start from 1, you actually start from x to the 7th. So you're gonna factor out x to the 7th. So if you factor out x to the 7th you have to multiply it by the power. So 7 times 6 that's 42. So you're gonna have x to the power of 42 outside. And inside you're gonna be left with 1 plus x to the power of x plus x squared plus x cubed and so on and so forth and this will be to the power of 6 so what we did is we factored out x to the power of 7 and we took it outside um, outside the power bracket and that will be equal to x to the power of 50 okay so now we're gonna divide by x to the power of 42 so you're gonna have 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so on to the power of 6 that will be equal to x to the power of 50 divided by x to the power of 42 which is gonna which is equal to x to the power of 50 minus 42 which is x to the power of 8 so now our question is find x to the power of 8 in this equation here so now we're looking for so look looking for x to the power of 8 in 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed 
And this is the same as last ex the last example. Alright, so you can rewrite this as 1 over 1 minus x to the power of 6. And that will be equal to negative 6 to the power of 0 plus negative 6 to the power of 1 times negative x plus negative 6 to the power of 2 times negative x squared and so on and so forth. Here you have negative x, everything squared. Alright, so we want the coefficient of x to the 8th. Well, just like the last example, we're going to have negative 6 to the power of 8 times negative x to the power of 8. No, to the power of, yeah, 8. And that will be the coefficient of x to the 8th. So this will give us negative 6 times 8. Um and minus 1 to the power of 8. So this can be expanded to 6 plus 8 minus 1, choose 8, times minus 1 to the power of 8, times minus 1 to the power of 8. And this is our answer right here. And this is the coefficient of x to the power of 8. Alright, I'll stop here for this um, video and there will be two more examples in the next video. I hope this made some sense. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or send me a message. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.